is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us here. No. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You want to say hi to everyone, Tommy? Hi, everyone. I got a Growl, go ahead, go out. Growl, it'll be another one. Growl. Tell, tell them we've been we've been trading we've been trading zero day options all day long. <laughs> I'll tell, tell them zero day options, right? We, you're learning how to do them, aren't you? We're trading spreads. Okay. We're trading spreads, that's right. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes and no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you what they want, and you have the right to say yes or yeah, no. Okay, now we're going to do, Tom, we're going to go over the market. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 40, NASDAQ up 219, S&P's down 35, gold. Gold contract down $23.10. <laughs> yeah, good boy. At 1960, we get silver down 38 cents. Trading 22.85, oil, oil down 258, $71.76 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 27 ticks, trading at 112.18. The, the 30 year down a full point plus three ticks at, at 125.15. And King Dollar, and that's what it's all about. Tommy, tell them, King Dollar is all about. That's why the market's having a hard time. King dollar's up 370 at 104,257. The euro's at 107. The yen's at 130, at 140. The British pound is at 123 to one US dollar. As you can see, folks, Tommy has got big. He's, uh, uh, let's see, March, April, May. He's two years, uh, 24, he's 28, seven months. How you like that? Seven. 20, 20 months now. What do you like to do? Do you like to buy high and sell low? Say buy high, sell low. Buy high, sell low. Buy high, sell low. That's right. That's that's exactly what we got to do. We got to we got to we got to buy high, sell low. No doubt about that. Buy low, sell high. Buy high, sell low. Oh, buy high, sell low. Oh, I know, yeah. I'm doing so many spreads that, yeah, I'm selling the spreads. Okay. Uh, Market-wise, let's take a look at this, folks. Okay, so we're going to take a look at it. So what you got on the SPY is this. The, the SPY right now, up $3.90, trading out at, trading out. yep, let's see, one second. Hold on, let me, let me get that. Oh, I got to get that one for a second. Thank you. One second. There we go. Okay, so we are at... There we go. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're trading at 414.98. And, you know, we'll see how this fluctuates around. But the bottom line is that you're coming into 98 million shares, folks, and you only get 64 million. We go to the, now, the big move, no doubt, today is in the NASDAQ because of NVIDIA. But I want to go to the gold contract first because the gold contract is in a confirmed ABC structure down to 1903. Gold broke its low today. And we... Broke its low, Tommy. That's right, no doubt. And it has volume. Okay. It has 
volume. It has volume. That's right. I, yeah, I like the speech pattern, folks. Isn't it cool? <laughs> I love it. You can see, you can see, we get, you get a decisive break. Look at that, Tommy. Look at that screen. They get a decisive break downtown. 1903 is the number. And if we get over to the dollar, it's going to be all about the dollar, folks. Okay. Well, we have, well here. Let's do the Nasdaq first. So if we do the three Qs, what you're going to see in the three Qs is that you are over the highs. You know, bottom line. You know, that being said, um, you know. You got not you don't have one equity. I mean, they've all been up there pretty good. But if we go to the one equity, the NVDA, what you're going to see here, this is more than a one to two ABC up, folks. OK. That's right. An ABC up, right? And when you have more than a one to one point six, one eight ABC up or down, it's the end of the move. So my take here is that this is the end of the move on NVIDIA. So we'll see. You know, you can actually take a look at the, the volume, too. When you take a look at the volume, you're going to see that you're really running almost, uh, let's see, three to four times the normal volume, you know, which, which is a monster number. There's no doubt about that. So the, we, go, we go over to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. <laughs> there you go. There you are. We take a look at the dollar. Look at that dollar, Tommy. That dollar is trading 104. The dollar is trading. Can you say 104? 104. 104. Can this 104. 104. He already knows numbers beyond belief, yeah, folks. It's just amazing. It. So it's 104. Now, where's Grandpa say it's going to trade to? 106. 106. 106. Okay. So one, 106. 106. And, 106. and what does that do? So as the dollar goes higher, the, go the market goes lower. Go the market goes lower as the dollar goes higher. No doubt about that. Say hi, Tommy. <laughs> I love this. So let's let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities. Hold it here. Let, let me do let me do this first. Oh, where's that big train? There it is. Okay. So some of the higher volume equities out here today. NVIDIA is the big one, no doubt. That's up uh, 78 points. You have uh, Advanced Micro up 11 and a half points. We have uh, Alphabet up two and a half points. Um, inside the NDX in general, okay, what's taking the NDX higher, of course, we know what it is. You know, get NVIDIA putting, uh, is up 25%, AMD is up 10%. You get uh, Cadence Design up 10%. Synopsis up nine. Now take it away from it. You got uh, Dollar Tree down six, down ten percent. Illumina's off ten percent. Intel's off five percent, and you got Walgreens off four percent. So there's a lot. No, don't throw this, that big train off there, Tommy. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. So here, are you gonna, can you growl? Can you growl for everyone, Tommy? Can you growl? Let me hear you growl. Growl. One more. Go, go growl. Good boy. You stay right there, folks. We'll come back with our man, Mr. Tim Wood. Dow. Dow Industrial's down 27. NASDAQ's up 225. S&P's are up 36. We'll come right back. Say bye-bye, Tommy. Say, we'll see you later. Go ahead. Tell everyone bye. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell them we'll see you later. We'll see you on Daddy's show. Okay, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 36. You got the NASDAQ up 223. S&Ps are up 35. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. And as you go to the front page of TFNN, folks, we got a special treat for you. Our man, Mr. Tim Ord, is going to be doing two webinars for us. We got a we two webinar series that's coming up. You're going to see this right at the front page of TFNN. The first webinar is going to be coming up on June 8th. And what that is going to be on is the broad market, the S&P. The second one is going to be on June 15th, and that's going to be on the gold market. And our man, Mr. Tim Ward, of course, you know, he's been in this market for, you know, 50 years. Bottom line, knows the market upside down. And the first webinar, folks, okay, the S&P, what he's going to be, so it's going to be a two-hour webinar, folks. It's going to be an hour and a half of teaching and a half hour of questions on each one of them. The first webinar he's going to be on the S&P is going to be talking about his sentiment indicators, the most important um, elements that he looks at for bottoms, uh, the divergences that he looks at all, all together and putting that all together. The second one is going to be on the gold market and that's going to be about ratio studies, cycle analysis, advanced decline, uh, volume indicators that you know he does a lot of ratios out here, uh, you know, looking at the extremes, Putting, it, putting that all together. Now, the way this works, folks, is that you can go to both of these webinars for $495. You can go to each one of them for $295 a piece. You can check it out right in the front page of TFNN under Featured Content. Tim Ord, what's going on? Well, everything's uh, good on this end, so um, anyway, let's just dive right into it, if you if you don't mind. Absolutely. Um, I got your charts right in front of me right. here. So I'll start right. with the first shot. Yeah, the first chart. This is actually kind of a educational thing. This chart is the um, NY NYSE summation index. Yes, and it goes it goes back to um, two thousand. I think I can't get my glasses on here. Goes back to two thousand seven. What I want to point out, you know, there was a big decline going into the two thousand eight low, and my point is. Uh, for a bullish market, you, you really have to have a blowout to the downside. Yes. And get you get a lot of extremes, get, I guess, the weak hands out. Pretty much get anybody out out of the market. Uh, then it bottoms. And that happens when the summation index, this is kind of a, there's a McCollin Oscar, then there's a summation, McCollin summation index. Okay. And the summation index is, uh, actually, I don't want to uh, get into the real big details. But, yeah, you know, when the summation index gets below, minus 700 
which I marked there with blue uh, lines on the chart all the way up to the current time frame. Yes. Then, then when it gets above plus one thousand, so it has to go to have a selling climax in the summation index has to go below seven hundred. Then you right after that, within a month or so, you have to have a sign of strength, and that's when a reading's above plus one thousand, and that confirms a bottom in the market. Well, I want to point out in that decline of 2007 going in 2008 bottom, you had a lot of readings below minus 700 there, and I outlined that in pink. Why, why that market did not make a bottom, because it never made a bottom until the summation went back above plus 1,000. So even though uh, you had selling climaxes, it just kept selling climax. You know, it never That's awesome to reversed, know. never reversed until finally, you know, in in uh, late 2008, you got a massive selling climax way below minus 700. Then finally, it got above plus 1,000, and that's when the bottom happened. And that's my, my point for the whole thing. You have to have a selling climax, and you have to have a sign of strength. And this is the if stuff that he'll be teaching folks, which is so cool. Yeah, that, that's so cool, Tim. Wow. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So my my point is getting back to the current market, uh, which we did have a selling climax. Um, I, I didn't write down the date, but we did have a selling climax way below minus 700. Then earlier this year, we did have a buying climax of plus 1,000. Okay. So uh, what I'm saying here, this is not going to be like 2008 <clears throat> decline because we went to a selling climax to a uh, to a sign of strength. So that's confirmed to bear a bull market. So nice. we're in a bull market now uh, because of that reason. Okay. So if if the market never got to plus one thousand, then uh, that would be this market going sideways could be the halfway point that it moved down. Instead, you know, this whole thing is a basing period. Yes. So uh, that's my point on that. And you know, um, Tim, these are the things that you know. You, you, it's so cool that you've been doing this so long. And you really get to understand these because it seems to me, you know, we all have, I mean, my dude, you know, the Wyckoff price and volume, which I love, you know what I mean? I know you do that yeah. too, but it's these things here that I think that people don't have, don't do, you know what I'm saying? That are so valuable right. to people, you know? Yeah. Right. And, and that's the reason why, you know, as well, we got oversold, we're having a bottom. Well, maybe, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, where's the sign of strength at? And actually, I flipped to chart number three real okay. quick. Okay. I'm going to scoop it. Okay, I have chart three. Right yeah. All right. I think we talked about this last time, and uh, maybe not, but I, I did a Fibonacci relationship from the March 2020 low. You know, that was a COVID low, I guess you might call it. And the market, you know, rocketed back up into uh, uh, January 2020 high. I did a relation, or I did a Fibonacci re retracement level. If you notice, we retraced down to the October of October of last year, and we didn't quite touch the 50 percent retracement level. We almost did, and so this market, you know, from the high of of 2022 is only retraced 50 percent. It didn't go down to like. Uh, 61 point, uh, yes. 61 point eight percent retracement. It only traced 50 percent. So from Fibonacci studies, I guess you might say, either this is a halfway point of the move up, which would give a target around 610, or you at least go back and test the previous high. Right. Fibonacci wise. Well, you take this another step further. I have a what I think is a head and shoulders bottom, mm -hmm. and the reason why I'm calling a head and shoulders bottom. If you look on the volume chart of March, we had a sign of strength through that neckline. I did yeah. close of, of the neckline, drew a line across there. I see that. And we, yeah, and we closed above that neckline, which is around a little bit above four, around 405, since I draw your trend lines. And so what's important, you have to hold above that line for the market to continue higher. And we did in April, and now we're in May. And May, uh, if you do the volume studies, uh, uh, this month, which is not even over yet, is already higher than the month of April. So you're making kind of higher highs. We did touch a higher high uh, above a previous high and higher volume. So there's quite a bit of evidence, even though we haven't gone anywhere since basically last May, 
uh, it's, it, we did have a sign of strength through a, a head and shoulders neckline, and we did close the blow up above it. And if you do the calculations of that head and shoulders bottom, in other words, take, take the bottom of the head up to the neckline, you add it on, come up around 460. Well, 470 is a high of the previous high. So I'm thinking that at a minimum, we go there to, to nice. 470. Tim, just stay so. there for a second. We got a quick break and we'll come right back. And what's so cool what Tim's talking about here, folks, so picture, when you do a 50% retracement, which he's talking about from the highs to the lows, that's a normal retracement, you know, in a market that can go up, folks. That's the bottom line. And then he matches it with his head and shoulders uh, bottom that he's looking at. Stay right there, Tim and I come right back, folks. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 12. Nasdaq's up 235. S&Ps are up 39. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ward. And don't forget, folks, if you come over to our website, the front page of TFNN, Tim's going to be doing two workshops for us, uh, one on the S&P and the second one on gold. Uh, the, the, and uh, the, all the details are right on the front page of TFNN. Uh, the workshops themselves are $295 a piece for one or $495 for two. Okay, Tim, so I have the, the third chart up right now. Uh, where do you want me to go? Uh, let's, let's go to chart two. Okay. Because um, chart one and three kind of had, you know, that was a bigger picture. Now we'll go to chart two. Sure. And I, I do, I do uh, actually, in a nutshell, I don't know if charts kind of messy. The only reason why 
because I do a lot of stuff with the ticks and trend. And anyhow, the closing tick and the closing trend, we'll put it this way, a trend close at 1.2 or higher, and a tick close below minus 200 is a form that shows panic in the market. Okay. And uh, now I'll, I'll stream that and uh, explain that in my uh, uh, webinar. Uh, if you know what the trend is, uh, I forgot, is, is up volume or is advancing, uh, is advancing issues divided by declining issues divided by advancing volume divided by declining volume. Right. And anyhow, if, if you do all that stuff, you get anything over, you know, one, it leans bearish. If it gets under one, it leans kind of bullish. Well, over the years, I figured out anything below 1.2, you're starting to see panic in the market. And that's when bottoms form. Bombs only form on panic. If you go down and there's no panic and everybody's saying, oh, yeah, this is a cheap buy, you're going to go a lot lower. Not right. until people start saying, I'm thinking, get me out of the market is when a low starts to form. Yes. And that's when the trend starts going way above one. Uh, so, uh, but anyhow, the reason why I put all those blue numbers there are when the trend or the tick showed uh, panic levels. And usually if the, when the market panics in a certain level, it'll continue to panic in that level. And uh, I probably at some, maybe the next next week or so, we'll show that it'll look on the bigger time frames. I had a lot of panic around the 360 to the 390 area on the SPY or on the trend and ticks uh, on the SPYs in that range. I and see. Okay. There was panic in that area. You're hitting support. So, but yeah, you know, we're getting off the subject. But anyhow, you know, what's uh, this is uh, SPY is going back first part of April. And what I'm thinking here is forming is three drives to a top pattern. You had a top in um, mid April, another, another one, uh, late April, 1st of May, and we just had one here last week. If you notice, we did break above the previous highs, actually on a sign of strength, it didn't hold. But if you can't hold the previous high, then what you're going to do is go down to the previous low. Well, three drives to the top pattern has a downside target to where the pattern began. Well, the pattern began at the previous lows, which is that shaded pink area in there. So I'm thinking we're going to go there. We have a lot of panic in that region at the, between 405, 410. So I'm thinking that's where we're going to go. And I got a gap there circled, and we have a gap. Um, yes. I think it was May 6th. We left an open gap there, and I thought we'd fill it a lot sooner. So, Tim, are you, are you saying there's going to be one more panic here? Is that how that's set up? Yeah, I'm thinking that's I see. No, I up. see. This is cool, uh, man. Yes, Folks. This yeah. is the stuff no one has. Trust me on this, man, because Tim, you know, we go back to the 90s. He taught me so much about the market, it's insane. This is the stuff that no one has, man. I get it. Go ahead. I'm sorry, man. This yeah. is so cool. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, yesterday, uh, I got uh, a note there. It says 382 down tick rings. Again, minus anything below 200 is panic. And the more down tick rings you got, the more actually bullish it becomes. But the trend only closed 1.09, near bullish, but not quite. And I, I bet either today or tomorrow we're going to hit 1.2 or higher on the trend. Okay. As we're putting this, as we're talking right now, we're at 1.11. So, uh, and ideally, you know, when you go to a holiday, a lot of times volume drops out. Yes. So, uh, ideally, when you want to go into a holiday you like that because that market going down because volume's going to drop out so right. you're going to test the previous low or test the gap and if you test a previous low on lighter volume preferably 10 percent lighter volume it implies support if you test the gap uh on lighter volume at least 10 percent it tests support so i don't have a crystal ball but my bet would be test the gap tomorrow on yeah. lighter volume and the trend's going to close today or tomorrow around 1.2, suggesting that gap's going to find support probably most likely on ladder volume because we're going into three-day weekend. And that's when really the rally starts uh, probably, you know, uh, you know, not Friday. Friday probably be it. Yeah, be next week. Be you know what's so That's cool, Tim, right? Week. Is that, like, I, I know, you know, you've, 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 you taught me the, the trend and the tick in the 90s, right? And it's so yeah. cool that how you've, you've just put together, you know, the tree drives, whether they're the top or the bottom, with it, 
with the context of, okay, yeah, we're going to combine it again. We know the market's always about strength and weakness, folks, okay? And so this is so cool because, you know, we know we've been, like, when you were saying that one of those charts was, like, sloppy, but it's been a sloppy market. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. okay, back and forth, yeah. back and forth, right? Yeah, pretty cool, yeah. man. Like, but also, I do, you know, stuff with Fibonacci like you do, and if you do the Fibonacci retracement, that uh, 405 area, which is that pink area again, is a 38.2% retracement. So you, you can do the numbers on that. So yeah. in other words, the sideways movement that's going on since the beginning of April is probably the halfway point of the move up. And if you do that, it comes around 445. So I think we hit 405 again, then probably rally because of the Fibonacci relationship just going sideways here for you know, almost well, two months, all of April, all of May. Uh, then we rally up, you know, probably in July or August. Uh, sure. To that Fibonacci relationship. And that's saying yeah. that it wouldn't break the low of that consolidation also that we've been in, which is pretty cool. Right. I get it. Right. Okay. Yeah. So there's a lot of different stuff going on in there, but that's how I'm looking to market. And if you look at the monthly chart, you know, there's nothing bearish about it. So, yep. uh, you know, we just got noise here. You got to, you know, you got to, I guess, pay attention that, uh, I've been long actually for a while now, and I have no reason at the moment, at least on the S and P's, to think about selling this stuff. Right. Uh, so, 405. You know, I'll probably add uh, something on the options. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe commodities. But I'll have to wait and see what it looks like. But, right. Uh, uh, I'm thinking an ideal. I hope it goes down. You know, tomorrow that'd be work out really good. Good if it does. And a lot of times going in these holidays. You know, there's if you have fear going in, you know, where you can't sleep over the weekend because you're in a long position. This is a type of market to give you know a lot of people fear. So yes, um, uh, so anyhow, that's and when Tim that's says that he'd that. like to see it go down again, folks, what happens is this: is that when you get the third test, also, which is pretty cool, right? That it, you, you get so much more information. It's amazing, right? I mean, that's that's how it works. Yeah. So it's pretty wild. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Yep. So. Um, we got one more chart. Okay. We got time to cover it. Yeah, start, well, you uh, just stay there. We'll take a quick break. We're going to come back with the next chart, all right? Cool. Stay right, all right. Stay right, right. there. This is uh, Tim Ward, Tom O'Brien. Uh, Tim's going to be doing a couple workshops for us. Check it out on the front page of TFNN, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 9. NASDAQ's up 243. S&P's are up 41. Tim and I are going to be coming right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up uh, 2, Nasdaq's up 241, S&P's are up 41. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. And I have the, uh, yeah, I have the uh, fifth chart up here, Tim. All right. Uh, actually, this is off subject a little bit. You, you remember how we met? at all um i i, I believe I, you I, I, yeah you probably don't know remember the circumstances but uh you remember chris cadbury yes yeah i think he wrote something in stocks commodities magazine so you called him up and you were doing uh your uh, radio station and and uh i forgot how chris and i became from i think i wrote something for commodities magazine way back when and he called me about some stuff and anyhow, you called him and and offered him a, an interview or something on your radio show. Yeah. And anyhow, Chris calls me and thinking, I don't want to go on the radio. I you love know? it. And I says, well, I would. So he gave me your number, so I called you up. I love it. And and that's how we we began our relationship. And so, Cadbury was uh, awesome so, too, man. Yeah. That yeah, Chris Cadbury. You know, he was always in the top 10 of timers digest for yes. years and years and i do remember and, uh, that now tim i do man that's right because yeah wow that's amazing yeah and yeah so i called you up and and uh and i i think uh one of our first conversations was yeah i, th I think the market was crashing in like 1998 like october or something and i remember i was trading quite a bit of options back then i uh, I said, I got to get off the radio because I got to buy some calls. Yeah, but something. it was way before that because we had already done was workshops it? by then. We 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 met in like 96 or something. Was well, it 96? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Was that wild? I know. But that happened when, when Greenspan was on. It was Greenspan and Ruben that was on. So it, it, I, it was live. He said, I got to get off this air. I remember that because what happens, folks, we used to do this program live Trading live simultaneously, three to four in the afternoon. Yes, now I remember that so well, man. Because yeah, you gotta love it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was anyhow. Yeah, that's that's how I met you. I you called Chris Cadbury for an interview, and I love it. And he didn't want to go on the radio, and he called me and said, "Yeah, so I'll go on." And how cool is and, that? Uh, yeah, how cool is that? So it's it's, it's a small world. It is. Uh, it is. So, but honey, uh, what chart you got up? Chart. What chart are we on? I have the fifth chart up. All right, fifth chart. Okay, this, this is kind of important here. Uh, we showed this chart last time. And anyhow, the bottom window is the 18-day uh, average of the up-down volume advance decline percent. And next window up is the 18-day uh, average of GDX up, or the bottom window, excuse me, is the advance decline percent. And the next one to up is the 18 day average up down volume percent. Previously, when both those indicators got above 40, normally a surge pattern happened. I went back in time and showed those examples. And we had one on April 4th, uh, 2023, you know, about uh, a little over a month ago, a month and a half ago. Okay. And both of them got way over 40, which predict the market in general should rally four to five months from that spot. 
And uh, so the market did rally for a little bit, but it has since backed off. And now I'll flip to chart four. Okay. Now, so this this chart is the weekly uh, GDX, this top window. Next window down is the cumulative um, uh, GDX advanced decline percent. And the bottom window is the GDX up down volume cumulative on a weekly time frame. So you, uh, and the blue line show the buy signals. In other words, when the buy, the buy signal happens when the, uh, both indicators close above its mid Bollinger band and the sell signals, which is the red one, close below the mid Bollinger band. Okay. And mark those on the chart. And we got a buy signal back in March of this year for that method on the weekly time frame. The only thing I wanted to point out, the the bottom window kind of just barely closed above it and over the last couple of weeks actually turned back down again. And the next window up uh, these are on the weekly time frame, so they're, they're they're bigger time frames, and it also closed back below the mid Bollinger Band. So anyhow, which indicator is correct? And that's what I don't know. So the, you know, I guess the, the bigger time frames rule the smaller time frames. Yes. So right now, this thing flipped neutral, in my opinion. It's, it's not a sell signal. Okay. But it's not really not a buy signal right now either. So I'm determined how I'm looking at the market right now. I think GDX is just oversold and is due for a bounce. And how that next bounce performs will determine what I do next. Okay, that's, cool. That's that's how I'm figuring this out. And and folks, so. you know, you can see, you know, this has been a great tutorial, you know, coming up for the webinars that Tim's going to do. And you can see this is stuff that you know no one's ever seen. I mean, that's the that's the reality. So if you'd yeah, like you're, to, you're right. This is. Yeah, I've, I've tried using all this other stuff on GDX. Yes. And it's a hit and miss. And uh, I'm thinking, you know, screw that. So I kind of started digging into other stuff and uh, started narrowing it down. And and this is what I came up with. So nice. And, and that's how you've always been, though, man. I mean, that's what's so cool, Tim. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, and, and your tick and trend has got a lot more sophisticated, what I think is so cool also, you know? So, yeah. you know. It, yeah, a lot it, of people, you know, they, you know, when they panic, I'm thinking if you're panic, you're, you're you know that's a good sign. Yes. You know? And I, I started to you know people uh, you know my clients in the old days just call me up bitch about you know Marcus panic we gotta get out you know or whatever or call me names or something. I'm thinking you know <laughs> we're walking away from a hell of an opportunity here. You know? Exactly. So, exactly. And I started to figure it out, and I go back and look. I'm thinking that's a perfect bottom. Yeah. So that's what kind of switched everything. I tried to find indicators um, that you know represent panic, and VIX uh, is a good one. Probably our next show will we'll show some stuff on the VIX, right? Which uh, well, is, you know, it's cool really cool, that, Tim. It's putting. I would say that you know, it's putting how you put a few of them together in order to basically make the probability assessment of where we are. You know, which is so unique. It's just on. It's it's where it's at, man. And, Listen, folks, you yeah. know, come over to our website at TFNN. You can, you know, you can test drive the, you know, the, the S&P one first. It's only 295 Or you want to do both of them, it's 495 You know, you're going to have a great workshop. I mean, it's, it's an hour and a half of great learning that, that you haven't had. And then a half hour of questions because there will be questions. Because, Tim, do you remember the first workshop? So, folks, picture this. I flew Tim in up to Waltham, and the, we had a day trading shop. And the first workshop, we came out of there, and Tim was teaching us the ABCs. And this was that's how I know it was 96, Tim, because that's when I brought you in, right? Well, we went yeah, out of I, our I minds, that. folks. Yeah, you was, can imagine. You're, you're a, running a, uh, owned a brokerage firm or something. And, it, it was a, and, yeah, it was uh, a, and, and so we were going out of our minds. Remember that it was like, oh, my God, I can't believe how these ABC work. Right. Because oh, you got to yeah. remember something, folks, in the 90s, these ABCs were, you know, just like when you get a trending market, they work beyond belief in a trending market, you know. So really cool. Well, listen, man, yeah. this is a pleasure. Um, you have a, a great long weekend, a safe one. And of course, we look forward to having you on next Thursday, Tim. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, man. Talk to you then. Thank you. Right. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Look at that. Right Welcome back, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We get the Dow Industrials down 32, NASDAQ's up 226, S&P's up 36. Now tell them, you know what they're doing, Tom? The option people? They're going to pin it at 415, and that's what Grandpa wants because we're trading the 415, 416s. Oh, go ahead. Get the backwards. Oh, that big tunnel. Look at that tunnel. That's a beautiful tunnel. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to say, have a, have a great day to people. Tell, tell, the, tell all the tigers and tigresses, have a great day. Growl first. Growl. 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 Okay, tell them to have a great day. Tell them to listen to Daddy in the morning at 9 o'clock. So what we have out here, for folks, is this. Let's go look at the S&P first. <coughs> what you have out here, the SPY, and of course, that, that was an amazing, um, you know, 30 minutes, folks, that Tim gave us. And you can see, so when we look at this S&P, you see when he's talking about the 405, the, the 403 is the lows. He's talking about the 405 right above it. And I suspect, you know what, that's probably exactly what we're going to do. And then we'll see if it comes in, what he's looking for. If we take a look at the Qs, the way the Qs are set up right now, what you have with the Qs is that the Qs right now, you know, they're going to close at their, uh, their highs. They're up 8 bucks. They'll close at their highs, and we'll see that next swing point. The next swing point is dramatically higher. And then if we go over to the gold, gold, as Tim said, bottom line, you know, my take is that we're going to ABC down into this um, 
good boy, into this uh, 1903 area. And I'll, now watch, this is how Grandpa ends the show. Ready? Ready? Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Great show. Ready for a growl? Tommy, ready for a growl? Ready? Oh. Go ahead. Good boy. Wow, oh, you got it, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Thanks.